The Discord of the Saints, or the Concord of the Wicked, by Richard Baxter. Therefore, when Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and dispute with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain others of them should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and elders about this question. Acts chapter 15, verse 2. The servants of God do mind the matters of religion more seriously than others do, and therefore their differences are brought to light and made more observable to the world. Their very heart is set upon these heavenly things, and therefore they cannot make light of the smallest truth of God. And this may be some occasion of their difference, whereas the ungodly differ not about religion because they have hardly no religion to differ about. They trouble not themselves about these matters because they do not much regard them. And is this a unity and peace to be desired? I had rather have the discord of the saints than such a concord of the wicked. They are so careful about their duty that they are afraid of missing it in the least particular. And this, with their imperfect light, is the reason of their disputings about these matters. But you that are careless of your duty can easily agree upon a way of sin or take anything that comes next to hand. They honor the worship of God so much that they would not have anything out of order. But you set so little by it that you will be of the religion that the king is of. Let it be what it will be. And it is easy to agree in such an ungodly, careless course. Astronomers and philosophers have many controversies about the matter of their sciences, when ignorant men have none of their controversies because they understand not and therefore regard not the things that the learned differ about. And will you think ever the better of ignorance or ever the worse of learning for this? The controversies of lawyers, of historians, chronologers, geographers, physicians, and such like, to never trouble the brains of the ignorant. But for all that, I had rather be in controversy with the learned than without such controversy with you. If you scatter a handful of gold or diamonds in the street, perhaps men will scramble for them and fall out about them, when swine will trample on them and quietly despise them, because they do not know their worth. Will you therefore think that swine are happier than men? The living are vexed with strifes and controversies about almost all the matters in the world when the dead carcasses in the grave lie still in peace and are not troubled with any of these differences. And will you say, therefore, that the dead corpse is happier than the living? Sirs, the case is very plain. If you will see that thus it is as to the matter in hand, it is a death in sin and compliance with the times and carnal interest and a disdain for spiritual holy things that is the cause of the agreement of the wicked, But the godly know the worth of the things that you set light by, and therefore make a greater matter of them than you, and therefore no wonder if they have more debates and controversies about them.